All right, for today's video review, we're gonna be taking a look at our first Core Class Legacy figure. This is Transformers Legacy Core Class Iguanus. And uh, yeah, this is a, a pretty neat little figure. Um, this is using the uh, the design of Iguanus' original design, the, uh, the uh, Pretender design. Um, and obviously it doesn't do Pretender stuff. It doesn't come with a Pretender shell or anything like that. They're doing kind of the more recent trend of a, uh, of pretender adaptations where instead of having the robot mode of the inner robot, it has more the, uh, the, like it's robot mode is more, uh, like reminiscent of the outer shell from the pretender shell. So iguanas, you know, turned into a pretty standard looking robot, but his outer shell was an iguana man. And that, that is the robot design that they're going for here. But the vehicle mode design is more based on his, uh, you know, inner robots, weird little, bicycle cybertronian bicycle design and uh you know it's it's an okay vehicle mode i'm not like too fond of it like in terms of you know it being a, a car or a vehicle in and of itself it's not great i don't love all the kind of empty weird like armature space down here and i don't love that you can clearly tell that these are his arms and these are his legs just folded up in weird ways so he does kind of just look like a dude folded up and then with some weird stuff kind of coming off the, the end here. But eh, it also, it could really use a kickstand because, uh, oh, look at that. You know, <laughs> I try to demonstrate something and just put it down and expect it to fall over. But uh, no, it just sits up perfectly straight. But usually when you put it down, it does this. And um, you can obviously, as, as I've already demonstrated by accident, uh, you can get it to sit on its wheels. You just have to be kind of very careful. I find that usually like putting it down and then kind of pressing it down is, a, is the way to do it. And you can get it to sit, though obviously it does not take uh, a whole lot for it to fall over. Um, but it is possible for it to actually stand on its wheels. But having maybe slightly wider wheels or at least some kind of kickstand that could pop out from the side here, maybe from one of his feet, I think would have been really helpful. But eh, as it is, you know, it's an all right little bike mode. Definitely weird, but I give it some forgiveness just because the source material of the original, like Iguanus's motor Cybertronian motorbike mode was already like kind of a weird awkward thing as were most of the vehicle modes for like a lot of the early pretenders so you know I can kind of forgive it having a weird vehicle mode because like originally it also had a weird vehicle mode so it's accurate in that sense uh <laughs> he comes with this weapon here which is um it, it's it's one of those ones that they're, you're really supposed to combine it with other things. Like it combines with uh, with Skywarp and uh, and Hot Rod's weapons, who are also the core class figures for Legacy. I'm not picking up either of those, so for me, it's just like a weird little kind of stumpy blaster thing. Now, unfortunately, the only way to store that in this mode is by pegging it into the top of the uh, the little windshield section here. I don't think that looks particularly good. I mean. I don't think the vehicle mode looked particularly good without it either, but I think it looked better without it, uh, no matter which way you uh, rotate it around. It's a shame because, like, again, it has so much, like, weird space down here that I feel like being able to store it down here would actually improve the look of the vehicle mode, even if there were still, like, some weird gaps. So it's a shame they didn't, you know, engineer it to just store down there like that in some way. Or even just like where, you know, the driver would go, that would be a little bit like right here is like the most obtrusive place you could put it. And that's where it goes. So eh, not a fan of that, but whatever. I'm, I'm content just leaving this in a box somewhere. But uh, yeah, for comparisons for the standard one, here he is with Kingdom Sideswipe. And, uh, you know, that's how a Lamborghini works with this weird Cybertronian bicycle. So sure, it, does, it can scale however it needs to. And then for another core class figure, here he is with, uh, with Soundwave. Whatever, you know, they don't really match aesthetics very much, but I, I'm fine with it. You know, this uh, this little bike mode, I, I think really can... I, I'm not sure if they're, if it's supposed to be like, oh, this is a smaller version of a bigger character like they do with, you know, like Optimus Prime and Soundwave and Megatron and all those guys, 
or if this is more like along the rat trap vertebrae line where this is a small character because like the original you know pretenders are actually kind of big figures so i think really ideally like if you wanted to have a pretender character they should at least be deluxe size to scale with everyone else but you know they're they're small enough characters like not physically small enough they're uh, obscure enough characters that I'm kind of fine with them doing whatever. It's just kind of cool that we're getting any sort of a uh, representation. But if, if they did like Bludgeon as a small figure like this, I, I wouldn't think that would work. I would imagine Bludgeon being a much bigger guy, but Bludgeon also has much more presence than Iguanas does in like media and stuff like that. So I think they can kind of get away with it. And hey, you know, he kind of matches more the size of like the Beast Wars Iguanas, who's also a short guy. So that, that kind of works. But yeah, in terms of transformation, first thing you want to do is uh, take the obviously folded up legs back here, just unpeg them from this wheel section, they peg it in a couple spots. And then they also peg into what will be his sort of like lizard man tail up here, just pegs in at his knees right there. And then you want to unfold it at the knee, rotate it around at the knee, and then take the foot, unfold it, and then rotate it forward. And just do that on both sides here. So you can straighten out his legs like that. Then for the arms, you want to untab them from the wheels as well. And then they also uh, tab in at the uh, like the base of the arm here. So you want to make sure that untabs as well. And then you can just swing them down and forward. Then uh, for the the wheels back here, you want to you can see they're on these weird little armatures. For this one, you want to fold it this way, and then this one kind of rotates up and folds this way, so they sit sort of symmetrically over his shoulders, and that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, and then you take the whole sort of like windshield section, unfold it at this hinge, and then this hinge right here, which locks in pretty securely. It kind of it didn't. I didn't think that it went any further than like here when I was trying to transform it to bike mode for the first time because like it doesn't feel like it should go much further, but it, it's kind of loosened up a bit. But yeah, you just want to untab that and then bring this section over so that this hole goes over this like ball joint uh, socket there like that, and then fold it up so that these two tabs go into th these two slots on his wheel sections there, just like that. So you kind of want to press it in and then kind of pull the wheels back a little bit because otherwise it just wants to push them back. And then you just rotate them around at the waist. And there you have Iguanus in his robot mode. And yeah, I like him a lot. I think he looks super cool. I'm not that fond of the uh, the bike mode, but his whole aesthetic here in robot mode, I think is super appealing. I love his little lizard man aesthetic that definitely uh looks a lot like the original Pretender shell, which I appreciate. I also love, you know, as weird and awkward as those armatures look in bike mode, I love the little like wheel and uh, and windshield uh, backpack that he's got going on here with the wheels over his shoulders. I think that's really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, in terms of articulation, the, uh, the head is on a ball joint. So just because of the shape of it, you mostly just get about that much rotation, but it, it can wiggle a little bit. Uh, shoulders are on ball joints. Uh, obviously, they bump into the wheels a little bit, but they are capable of rotating all the way around. Um, in terms of a uh, bicep swivel, you just get that via the fact that his uh, his elbow is also a ball joint. So you can get about a little over 90 degrees of bend there and then also that rotation. Uh, obviously, for transformation, he's got that waist cut, which is nice. Uh, hips are ball joints and go forward back only about that far before they kind of bump into... Well, I guess really it's just the shape of the uh, the thigh here that kind of bumps into the waist piece. Um, in terms of thigh swivel, it's the same kind of thing where his knees are ball joints. So that gives you your thigh swivel, but then it also gives you a little over 90 degrees of bend at the knee. And then the feet are on ball joints, which gives them rotation and a really decent amount of tilt just because of how it has to work for a transformation. So yeah, he's a, he's a pretty decently poseable little figure. I mean, talking about Beast Wars Iguanas, he, he definitely feels like he follows the uh, the Beast Wars line of, uh, you know, logic in terms of posability, where it's just like, just make everything ball joints and uh, it'll have a decent amount of posability no matter what. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, I, I think it works pretty well. Um, you know, there's some awkwardness to like the way his feet are shaped, but you know, not even every modern like deluxe has like tilt forward and back and out to the side. So really whatever, uh, <laughs> whatever he's got going on, it already works out better than a lot of figures. But yeah, no, he looks uh, really nice.
Now, in terms of his weapon, uh, what's kind of neat about this weapon and something that I really do appreciate is it has two different pegs on it. Uh, and, you know, he uses both pegs because this one is used for storage and this is the one that he actually uses to hold it. But what's nice about this is if you, you know, want to use this weapon with a bigger figure and especially since the whole gimmick with Legacy is like combining all of their weapons and stuff like that because these are, you know, the, the port that goes straight through it is also a, a five millimeter port. So you can plug in stuff to that. Um, you can actually have larger figures hold this weapon, even though his hands are actually more similar to like Rat Trap with the uh, the smaller peg hole, the, I think it's three millimeter, where you can peg it into his hand like that. And uh, it, you can still have other figures hold it. Like if we bring back on Sideswipe here, here's our comparison. He can obviously hold this weapon as well, just has to use the other peg. And, you know, it's not like a particularly exciting weapon, but I do appreciate that they kind of have that versatility where, you know, either figure could hold it. Um, in terms of storage, unfortunately, it uses the same storage here where you just peg it into the, uh, the windshield and it kind of like sticks out at an awkward angle and over his shoulders. And, you know, that's not a terrible look. Like, I don't necessarily mind the like spikes sticking up over his shoulders. I could see how that looks kind of cool, but... I don't know, since it doesn't store great in uh, in vehicle mode and doesn't really store that well in robot mode, I'm personally probably just going to put this out to the side and maybe use it for other like weapon combinations and things and just leave him kind of without it. But, you know, that is where it goes. It, it can kind of use these holes on the wheels to uh, to use the smaller peg. They don't really seem like they're exactly the right size. Like this hole is a little bit too small. But if you don't like force it in all the way, you can kind of get it to stick in there. Um, I think that looks worse than even pegging it on top there, but it's an option. You can do that, I guess. But, eh, you know, I'm not totally in love with... I like the weapon well enough. Like, I'm okay with weird weapons, but I don't really love how it integrates with him and how it doesn't really store that gracefully in either mode, but at least it does have somewhere to go. And because his vehicle mode is like a weird Cybertronian design anyway, it's not like it messes with the whole, you know illusion of disguise or anything since this dude already does not disguise at all in his vehicle mode um but yeah uh in terms of comparisons there we saw him off with side swipes so you can see what he looks like with a uh, pretty average size deluxe and here he is with core class sound wave just so you can see how he stacks up with the other core class figures pretty standard size maybe a little bit bulkier with all of his extra you know like kibble on his back and stuff like that but I think he works well as either like scaling with these guys as, you know, just a smaller kind of legend scale version of this character or scaling with these guys where he's actually just like, you know, a small guy compared to the other Transformers. I think it could work either way. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to him. I really enjoy this guy. He's a, uh, you know maybe not the most exciting start for a core class figure in uh, in Legacy just because like, I don't know, I really like his robot mode, but his vehicle mode is, eh, it's not great. I didn't really need it to be that much because again, you know, the original Iguanas' robot or vehicle mode is not very good either, but it, it would have been, you know, a bit more exciting to have something a little bit more, with a little bit more interesting stuff going on, but I don't know, either way, pretty good start to uh, to our legacy core class. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to this guy. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And without further ado, here we have Transformers Generations Legacy Core Class Iguanus.